This is a 2000 Palomino Thoroughbred Ultralight 25 foot travel trailer with a slide out and two doors. I'm starting at the back so you can see everything is included in the sale of this. We have some holders for hoses and uh, or fishing rods, whatever you want to use for, for your drain hose. Outside here, there is the hookup for an outside shower that you can use for the auxiliary shower and the sewer hose. We have all your sewer connections down here. Here is the slide out that comes out. That's for the couches on the inside. These are 13 inch wheels, uh, 85, 13 is all a good thing. They have bearing buddies on there so you don't have to change them out. This of course is storage. It has two propane tanks. It has uh, car battery operated um, hitch mounts to where you can lower and raise it. And those are your stabilizer hitch for your towing that's gonna come with the trailer as well. The other side, as you can see, there are two doors and an awning. It does have an air conditioner and heater to go with it. This is the other side of the dual propane tanks. Storage. It does have the mounts for an outdoor uh, gas propane grill that goes with the unit. This is where the hot water heater is. The hot water heater was just recently replaced three years ago and still in working condition. It's only actually been used twice since it was replaced. Steps under the doors. We're gonna go in through the front here. This is a queen size bed. You have your closet over there, storage here, nightstand over here. The water reserve is underneath the bed. That is a probably 20 gallon water. I had to look, I don't honestly remember that. This is the couch to where, that's the slide out. Uh, I have taken a video of the slide out working that I'll post in with this. This is where you eat at your table, but it also collapses down into a bed. There's storage underneath both seats. Originally, they had this for where a TV would go because as you can see, it has old cable hookups. There is an actual antenna that does jack up on the trailer that you can use for reception. Works pretty well, actually, if you have a copper coax cable. There's your air conditioning vent. This is the thermostat for your air conditioner or heater, wherever you are, what time of year it is. It does have, just heat, just heat. I'm sorry, that's for just the heat. Uh, the air conditioner is actually up here. So right there on the air conditioner. This does have an actual refrigerator and freezer to go with it that do work on electricity. And I believe they also work on propane as well. They, actually, they do work on propane as well. There's storage underneath. Here's your sink. You have a microwave that goes with it. Since this is a 2000 model, it actually does have a CD player and has a radio that works, the, just to show you that it still does work. We're gonna hear some Spanish station. Okay, bueno, pues, eh, viene eh, la siguiente pregunta que se me movió por acá. So that still does work. Ventahood. Yeah, there's a Venta hood with a light on it that actually works as well. This is a three burner propane stove top with an actual oven below it that works on propane as well. There's some more storage here. This is the back entrance. So if somebody's cooking or you just wanna get in to go to the restroom, this is where you come in the back of the kitchen. The bathroom for a camper trailer is actually pretty good. It's got a bathtub, which obviously very few people will use. And it actually has a little, <laughs> I call it where my head goes up here, where you can stand in the shower if you're a tall person. There is a vinyl hood, there's a toilet, there is another some closet and storage over here. It's twice the size of a lot of camper trailer bathrooms because it does take up the entire width of the trailer. Now, just so you know, for people that do know me, I am six feet, five inches tall. And just to show you, I can stand in here, standing up and have headroom. That's rare in a camper trailer. In the shower, since the shower is actually, the tub actually is elevated a little bit, 
I can actually stand in there, but my head does come up in here about right there. I mean, my philosophy is obviously use the campground shower if you can, but in an emergency or you need to do it, you can use this.